Hello and welcome to uh, our video session of our lecture uh, information management. So today uh, I'm going to focus on uh, discussing the uh, exploration of what really a database is. So in our previous week lesson, so I provide a background of what is a database and uh, what is DBMS and the benefits of uh, designing and creating a database and also part of my lecture is the types of databases and the uh, advantages of uh, DBMS. So today uh, we are going to review those lessons but my emphasis is more on uh, how we are going to utilize the tools that I uh, mention uh, in our lecture. So, today our topic or objectives are the following. Number one, so in today's lesson or uh, lecture, we will be defining what database is. So, this is a review. Uh, identify the benefits of database, uh, describe database management systems, and explore database systems. Okay, so let's begin. So in our previous uh, lecture, or my, my module presented last week, so I give you an overview of what a database is. So let's go back to uh, uh, focusing on the discussion of what database is. So what is a database? A database is a shared, integrated computer structure that stores a collection of data. So you can consider database as the repository of your data. So it can be uh, an electronic type database such as a Microsoft Excel. It can be a logbook, which is the file system. We call that file system. The file system has been used several years ago. So it uh, allows us to record uh, time, uh, things, and etc. You can consider a uh, file system database uh, such as uh, logbook, the time in, the DTR. So those are the uh, file system database. Uh, electronic database can be considered as Microsoft Excel uh, documents. So you store your important uh, data or uh, details there. So electronically. And another type is what you call uh, a database itself wherein it has a structure so in, in in my module last week so i mentioned the advantages of designing a, a computerized database so there is a significant difference between electronic database and an actual database because in electronic database it's like utilizing the available tools such as Microsoft Excel or other available tools in order to store data. While database itself requires uh, structuring, uh, it has a more feature than the usual electronic database. So later, we will be exploring what is a database looks like. So majority of uh, establishment or majority of users nowadays uh, are now relying on systems that's why as uh, IT professional or future IT professional or programmers or software engineers or developers they tend to utilize database systems rather than electronic file system because the database system has an advanced features that electronic database doesn't and the database actually solves many of the problems encountered in data management. So one of the reasons why uh, businesses nowadays are utilizing DBMS or the database management system because the majority of transactions nowadays requires more uh, complex processing and developing a program for a database management system allows them to have a quick uh, output or quick response to their needs because in data management it's really difficult to manage the data so that's why they need to have these computerized systems or we call that DBMS for them to be able to have a faster and convenient access to data okay 
Now, uh, this is an example of what a database has or what a database can do. So, in 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 a database environment, you have these uh, users that actually inputs data and you develop a database to store those inputs coming from the user. So, an input, we call that uh, raw data so or user data. So, the user access your system or a program or any interfaces that allows them to input data and this entry of data is being stored into what we call database so it's storage of data okay so our subject is focusing on development designing and management of data okay what are the benefits of database number one if you have a database system in in, in your processing it has an easier access so a database can be accessed by any employee so if you have let's say for example a file system or or electronic system you need to have if you need to make an access for several person it cannot actually cater several users why because when you have an excel file you need uh, several copies of it but the problem is if you have several copies of it the the problem now is how accurate is it, it is in another several copies so we call that uh, in cons uh, consistency of the data so it's really hard to manage several copies but in database system since you have managing a single database that caters several users so the, the data is being shared with people and it can be accessed easily for example in, in Facebook we are using the same platform the Facebook uh, uh, website or the Facebook itself. Now, millions of users access Facebook. Now, we are trying to access uh, the same location, but we retrieve data depending on what we need, right? So, that's an example of a database system wherein we can have an easy access to data whenever or uh, uh, let's say what time you access the database. So it's really convenient and you can have an easy access. Uh, this particular access to data is very important for people who travel a lot to work for example, doing sales, uh, when they need to access data what in particular time. So they can have an easy access to the data, okay? Number two, uh, database allows us to have a faster query. So, the problem with file system is if you are managing a lot of data or a lot of files, especially in stored in a cabinet and you are looking for one data or one particular record, it's really hard or not convenient or inconvenient to access those data because of the number of files that you need to open. Even if you manage to arrange them into a particular order, still, the access of data is not that, uh, we say, convenient. Now, in electronic database system, for example, a Microsoft Excel, for example, uh, it may be allow you to, uh, uh, let's say, a bit convenient of accessing because it's electronic, but what if you try to have a more comprehensive a report on something? That's what the problem stakes in or problem will arise because Excel has a limitation of providing a much uh, sophisticated information that we need. Now, in, in databases, what we do uh, is we can have a faster queries. Searching of information uh, or relationship within a large amount of data is typically much faster. Example, in Facebook, it's easier for us to access large amount of data. Example, uh, comments or uh, we, if we want to search a particular person in Facebook, we can easily type the names. While uh, in Excel, if we have millions of data, it's really hard to search for record or if you want to require some reports that produce summary Excel actually can do that, but it requires a more 
uh, experienced user to do that. Okay, but in Facebook, when you access the information, it's easier, right? So especially if, let's say for example, you are going to browse a group or a particular work or place where you need to access important information. So it's Facebook provides us a faster uh, access to the information that we need. Okay, so one of the main benefits of uh, DBMS uh, but by the way, DBMS is Database Management System. So later, we will be going to emphasize that. So one of the main benefits of DBMS is that you can easily actually access the information you want and uh, you can identify or tailor uh, search criteria. It's like accessing, uh, accessing rather, accessing a Google search wherein you type the keyword and basically the system will give you the important results that you need and rank them according to the result most important result that you need number three is supports multiple users so this is one of the big uh, big benefits of uh, creating a database or using a database system because it doesn't have limitation of how many users are going to use or access your database just like, for example, the, the Lazada or the Shopee, millions of users or thousands of users accessing the website uh, at the same time. So it doesn't have create more difficulty to, to the user in accessing those information. While in file system or electronic system, it actually causes a headache on accommodating several users at a time. Okay. Number four. Database systems allows flexibility. So flexibility is actually using different views of search queries. Uh, what does it mean? Every person who uses the system has different needs. So database system can accommodate different needs of different people who are accessing the system or the database. Users have the ability to see the data in a way that benefits them the most. For example, in a department store, there are several users in a system like a cashier can only access products, sell products, or record items that is being uh, uh, bought by the user while the managers uh, has the access of identifying the sales and etc. So the database system allows us to view the things that we need. Okay. So for example, another example is for example, a, the, the employee or the, the the certain sales team can just see information related to their sales efforts. That's what I mentioned a while ago. While the employee can only access important data that is related to their job. So, so that's the one benefit of, of using database system because they, they get information uh, that is important to them at a certain point in time. Okay. And number five, less room for error. So, as you can see, in file system, we can really see or imagine the difficulty of managing files. Uh, you can only imagine what will have worse happen to a file that is stored in a cabinet. So, we cannot control them. In electronic system, I think for most cases, very nowadays, it's being utilized. But for uh, uh, if you need more uh, information that can be extracted on a single data, I think Excel has difficulty of doing that. While in database system and the combination of DBMS, we can, since it's in being developed for a certain purpose, so we can no longer encounter any problems because it is being made tailored for that particular application or that particular purpose. So that's another primary uh, benefit of a database over spreadsheet that it has a less manual inputting. So as you can see in Excel, you can manually input while in database, you just all you have to do is just if you want to input a data, you need to select or uh, I uh, just click a particular choice rather than inputting to minimize the error. And important uh, contact information in financial information is often input and automatically by a phone call or other software uh, other software so it's utilizing the available technology you know, rather than manual inputting of data that is inconvenient to the user so and using these databases allows us to have a more accurate and more reliable uh, data that is being stored in our 
database. Okay, so now uh, let's focus now on the database management system. So what is a database and what is the difference between database and a database management system? So a DBMS is a collection of program that manage, structure, and control access to data. So what's the sense? So a database resembles a very well-organized electronic filing cabinet. So that's the purpose of database. Its purpose is for you to be able to uh, store data while the DBMS helps to manage those storage. So in, in a, a, a basic sense, database is a storage and DBMS is your program that manages those data inside the database and you as a user you are being uh, uh, you actually use the program to manage or to store your data so it has several restrictions or security measures that allows you to uh, make your data accurate and when the data is stored in the database then that's the time that you have uh, an accurate and reliable data that can be retrieved in the future. So that's the purpose of DBMS. It's like in our uh, in our particular example or in in a, in a basic sense, it's, it's just a DBMS is a program. So you develop the program so that you can manage your database. So unlike file system, you have a direct contact with the file, which is we cannot control if the user is doing the right way of storing the data. While in DBMS, there is an assurance that the data you stored is accurate as possible and reliable as possible. Okay, now, next. Okay, so as demonstration, let me give you a demonstration. So let us explore what a database looks like. Okay, so to start, uh, a part of my uh, activity in last week uh, module is for to be able to install the required system for our uh, uh, course, right? So today, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a sample database, the sales company database, and also I'm going to demonstrate a sample uh, program that manages the database. Okay, so let's begin. So first, make sure you have the uh, necessary uh, files that you need. So, what are the needed materials? First, you need to have your uh, XAMP uh, installed. So, in my case, uh, you need to access your installed XAMP in your Drive C uh, directory. So, in my case, uh, what I did is I installed my uh, XAMP folder in my Drive C computer. So all you have to do is to access the Drive C. By default, XAMP is actually ins installed in uh, Drive C. Okay, so you open the XAMP and look for uh, XAMP control panel. So in some cases, before you open your uh, XAMP, you need to run this administrator to be safe because it requires user access. You need to right click the application and choose run as administrator. So it will pop up uh, user account control. Just click the yes uh, option there. So there we go. So you have now your uh, XAMP control panel. Okay, so in this particular uh, case, no, so we have this control panel. So the mo one of the important module that for services that we need to run here, since our subject in is a database, so we need to run the MySQL uh, services. So make sure uh, it has a notification that the system is running. So your button is now replaced by stop caption and a port is indicated and it's colored green as indicates that the module is actually running. Okay, now, 
Okay, now, uh, next is we need to access the portable version of our application called uh, XAMP. So, by the way, this is a portable version, meaning you don't have to install it anymore in your computer. So, by the way, this is a version wherein I, 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 I grab in the internet. So, it's a portable version and a registered version. So, if you have, if you need to download a latest version, so it's actually not free. So, you need to buy a license for it. Now, the purpose of this application is to allow us to manage our database. Okay, so the same with XAMP, make sure you store it in a location where you can easily find it. Okay, then extract it. And once you extract it, it will display an application or a files like this one. So you need, all you have to do is to right click the file and uh, to make it more safe, run it as administrator because in some cases, Windows 10 is actually difficult to, uh, uh, especially in user access. Okay, so run as administrator. So it will also pop up uh, user access. Just click yes. Okay. And wait for it for a while to load. Okay. Okay. So once your application is loaded, so for example, in my case, this is now my SQL Yog application. Okay, so it's more a bit bigger than expected. So you can actually minimize it if you want. In my case, I'm going to resize it so that it's more convenient in our recording. Okay. Okay, so make sure your exam is running as preparation of, of your activity. And SQL log. So sometimes it the, the start connection dialog box will automatically appear but in case in my case it doesn't appear so I will need to click the create new connection okay so let me emphasize this one for you okay so let's zoom in okay uh, so what's the purpose of this connection? So this, the purpose of this application is for us to be able to manage the database. But in order to do that, you need to provide important credential of the database. By default, MySQL, the, the location of our database is our local computer. In some cases, the location of the database is located somewhere else, like another computer. So you need to type the IP address of that particular computer or the location of that database here. But in our case, since we are uh, beginner of this particular uh, application or we are just we just installed our database in our local computer so you need to type localhost or you can type 127.0.0.1 instead that's the same that is localhost but for convenience you just type the localhost and for user by default mysql uses the root as username and the password is blank so there's no password by default and the port is by default is 3306 and databases this is where you need to type a specific database that you want to view because in some cases if you want to manage a single database uh, you need to type here the database and of course before you connect test your connection if it's working so in my case this is now uh, indicates that i have a successful connection with my database okay so, uh, click connect, okay, so it will ask you to save any changes that you made. So, if uh, you're using your computer, please click save yes, okay, to save the changes that you made and it will actually save the connection. So, sometimes you are being asked to name your connection, so click yes, okay, but of course, it depends upon your needs, so if you don't want to save the, ano, the the connection it's okay so okay so let's move forward okay so let me resize this a bit okay now let's focus on the part where we need to access our Okay, 
So, okay, let's explore our SQL log. So, this is what you call SQL log. So, this is an application again for managing your database. So, this is the application we are going to utilize to create or maintain our database. So, once you log in, you will be seeing this window. So, this is your object window. This is now your query window. So, it query is a command we use to access data in our database and this is now your uh, window for the data if you want to see the result of your query or the contents of your table or information about your database now uh, by default so i am here i have here a sample database so let me remove this one so that we can start from the very beginning so i'm going to drop my database okay yes so now, when you delete a database, there's no undo in this operation. So, make sure you have a copy or backup of your database. So, how do we uh, restore or import our database? So, first, you need to go to database and choose import and execute skill script. So, you will be doing the, you are, you will be doing the same thing in our next task. Okay. So, you need to browse the location of your database. Okay. Make sure you downloaded the file correctly and you store it in a location where you can easily find it so in my case i will be accessing my database at a particular location so in my case let me access my file okay okay so that's the difficulty bit because i forgot to identify so in my case i just stored my uh, database inside my folders okay so let's look for it in my subject folder okay there we go so click open by the way I, I mentioned in our module that you need to store your files in desktop so that you can easily uh, uh, locate it uh, so click once you loaded so click execute okay it will ask you to uh do you want to continue click yes okay so what will happen now is it will successfully imported my database so click refresh here or just press f5 or right click the current location just refresh okay so now you have now the sale code database so let us explore so how do we open a database so this is now a database looks like so a database contains table so in, in microsoft excel we call that uh, document sheets so this is a table wherein data are stored in different particular category for example employee something like this so this is now your example data so in this particular example as you can see so let me okay so this is now your database so as you can see data arranged into a particular column wherein each column contains a specific data for a specific purpose for example the customer code the last name of the customer the first name initial and etc so that's how an electronic database is being managed or stored or developed when we say electronic database, it has a complete structure of what kind of data that you are going to manage. Okay. Another example, this is now invoice. Invoice is a recording of transaction of the user. So, this one. So, if you take, if you want to take a look at this one, this is an example of uh, example transaction that is being recorded inside the database. Okay. So, that's how you explore it. You can also change the view of this particular uh, data by changing the view. This is now the grid view, the form view, and the text view. So, there. So, in my case, I always use the grid view for convenient uh, access. Now, so this is the vendor. So, that's it. So, now, you have an actual view of what the database is. Now, it's important as an administrator, if you are a database administrator, it's really important that you need to secure this type of data because it's uh, the data it's being stored in the database is very important. You, 
you need to have a, a full security of it so that uh, unauthorized access will be uh, when you say uh, any person that tries to access it will be uh, filtered okay because since this is very important you are trying to protect it from other person who wants to access it in a way that they benefit from it so that's why majority of uh, users or majority of programmers always secure the secure their database okay so you know the importance of data is very significant if someone access it so you are being the data is being compromised that's why many people spend time more on securing the data rather than uh, uh, you know making use of uh, anyway that, that that's the primary the primary job of the database administrator is to always uh, monitor in securing the data so that any unauthorized access will be prevented because once an author an unauthorized access access your data so they will you know have a uh, let's say uh, can get information that is very confidential so that's why you need to secure it so as a programmer your uh, job is to make sure that the data that is being stored in your database is secured also and correct implementation of uh, particular uh, Let's say when you develop a program make sure that the data is being stored here is accurate as possible that's why you need to make your program uh, uh, as also require data accurate as possible okay so uh, now this is what you call a table so this is now the customer data so uh, social media and other mass media actually never mention what database is because you know when they mention it it's always a parang it's like you are trying to preview a confidential one so we can access data through the BMS that's why we develop program okay so actually this is one of the most targeted uh, location of what we call hackers because when a hacker access this data they can actually uh, manipulate your data here so that's why as a developer or programmer make sure you securing this type of information now if you take a look at the balance so imagine if, an hack, if a hacker uh, access this so they can actually modify this so that's a very a very uh, uh, problematic scenario for a developer or for a company to allowing an, a hacker to uh, modify the database that's why you need to secure this one now our next uh, exploration let's move on what we call DBMS so as you can see in our discussion DBMS is the collection of program so what is a DBMS looks like so this is an example of the, a program that I develop for a C sharp a class so this is a application that allows me to manage the uh, database so now uh, don't try to be overwhelmed of what you are seeing because in some case in some uh, course that you may enroll it contains uh, instruction on how to develop program like this but our focus right now is to uh, provide you with a background what a database dbms or database management system looks like so i'm going to run the program so this is now my application so in my case so as you can see i have now the list of products that are actually stored inside the database so if you try to uh, view so here are the products so when you create a program you simply retrieve this data right so this is now your program so here in our example it has uh, four uh, two particular data management buttons the new if you want to add a new product 
like this one okay edit an existing product so you need to select a product like that okay or delete a particular product so that's what you call the bms it's actually a program or a collection of program that allows you to manage the data inside a database so uh, in the future we will be developing this especially in upcoming course that you uh, will be enrolled right so for now our focus in our subject is the database so uh, I guess if, if you have clarification or question just post your questions in our LMS uh, portal especially in our subject so this is actually the end of my session uh, video session so if you have clarifications or comments so do not hesitate to uh, link me in your uh, direct message or just post a direct message in our LMS account so thank you and I hope you understand our lesson for our video lesson for for today so uh, upon viewing this I am now uploading your next task so hopefully you finish the task and hopefully you will learn from those tasks that you need to perform okay thank you and good day